you can have uh, condoms, female condoms, the injection, you can get whatever you want. But, it's but you still want abortion. Effective. Nothing's 100% effective. Well, I suppose abortion well, killing the child, yeah. Well, actually, even abortions aren't 100% effective. The reason why is because they're now advocating for this bill that allows doctors not to give recitation to that child after it's outside the birth canal. Honestly, I don't even think that's so bad. You think that location bestows value? That's I'm absolute nonsense. Being born bestows value. Why? What, what's so special about moving from one place to another? They are inside a woman's body, and women what? should have body If I invite body. you to my house, do I get to kill you? Because I don't want you there anymore. That's a completely different Why? That's, Why? That's murder. Yeah, it is murder, exactly. <laughs>
the lo new laws are being argued that the, no, they don't have that um, duty anymore. They can choose to let the baby die. If so, That's what I'm saying. saying. They try to do an abortion. Yep. The abortion, abortion fails. fails. Yeah. So it's born alive, basically. So it's just born. Yes, it's born. Yes. Okay. How is that an abortion? The, the because the abortion failed. Born. Yeah. Because it was meant to be through an uh, abortion procedure where they have the little metal clamps and they rip the body parts. I don't know if you've seen that. And then they drag the baby out. But there are situations in which they don't actually kill it in that process. It's quite rare, but it happens. The reason why is because they're now advocating for this bill that allows doctors not to give recitation to that child after it's outside the birth canal. Honestly, I don't even think that's so bad. It's not, it's not, a, not hasn't been born. So you are actually pro infanticide then? Infanticide? No, it's not infanticide. But the, okay, there born. is a baby who is outside and alive, and you're saying you can kill it. But that woman went there to get an abortion. No, right, but okay, I know that was the intent, but now there's a living baby outside of the woman. Can you now kill it? So you can kill it? Can you kill a one-year-old? Why? A one-year-old is not... Well, what, what, what magically changed? What magically changed? The change, the, what changed is the consent of the mother and the fact... No, that no, 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 she wants it dead. She wants it dead. Um, the, um, difference, a one, yeah. the difference is a one-year-old can physically live on its own. No, it can't. It'll die because no one will feed it. It's completely no, but, dependent on its okay. mother. And that well, newborn it baby. Could be dependent on his like, father. Uh, that newborn could be baby. On a guardian. Could be dependent. Yes, yes. The thing is, there's a difference between uh, a one-year-old needs a parent, like some sort of guardian, to navigate it through society because it is unable to feed itself, and a fetus literally needs an umbilical cord in order to sustain itself. And why is it that one bespoke value on a life and the other doesn't? What's the difference? What do you mean? What do you mean the difference? You're saying that if you have an umbilical cord, somehow this devalues you as a person. But That's as soon as you don't, you're magically you're valuable. You're not Why are you not a person? What, what, bespo what bespoke personhood on someone? Because you haven't been born. So being born magically makes you valuable? Because it makes you a person, yes. That's how it works. Despite the fact that nothing's changed. <laughs> you were exactly the same five minutes before. No, you were not exactly the same. You were not no, I'm, to yet. I'm talking about five minutes ago, you were inside your mother's womb. And five minutes after born. that, you're now out. You what magically born. changed? You were born. You've literally moved a matter of inches, and you're saying that now but makes that, you valuable. I mean, you, you can say, oh yeah, you've moved a matter of inches, but that is literally what being born is. You are yes. moving out of your mother. Yes, and, and it's incredibly born. insignificant in bestowing value upon people, it's isn't very, it? It's very significant. What, 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 okay, why? What, what, you mean you're that, that? born. You start, you yes. start to exist. And that therefore gives you... Wait, you didn't exist before. No, you didn't exist, you didn't exist as, before. As, you didn't exist as a person before. You were a fetus. Despite the fact that nothing has changed in your body. No, you might not necessarily be breathing on your own. What happens if a baby is born and they have to go in an incubator because they have difficulty breathing? Can you kill it then? They're still born. Okay, so it is about being born then? It is about being born, yeah. Okay, so being born magically gives you the property of being valuable. It doesn't magically give you any properties, it just makes you born. So it's not about consciousness, it's not about heartbeat, it's not about level of development, it's just about location. It's about being born. About going through a birth canal or yes. a C-section. Yes. Does it matter? Are they both equally the same? Yeah, they're both equally the same. And then magically you have, no you have human, you have human rights as soon as you come out, but you don't when you go in. Because you're not a human before, like before you're. Well, you're not. You obviously are. Scientifically, you are. You can see you. You're literally you're there. Not, okay. You're like you're. You're just a fetus before you were born. You are not a fully formed. Okay, so a fetus is the form. same as a non-fetus in your view, because there's no actual difference other than the location. A fetus. What's a non-fetus? Someone who's born. Someone who's no longer a fetus. They're now a child, right? In your view. So I guess we are all non-fetuses. Yeah. So yeah, there is. Despite a the fact that a child and a fetus, and a fetus at the late stages of development have no difference. There is a difference. The difference yeah, according to you, it's location. It's location, according to you. You think that location bestows value. That's I'd absolute nonsense. Being born bestows value. Why? What, what's so special about moving from one place to another? Like, I don't know how to you describe don't know. it. You don't know. Just, you are born. That's, that's such a weak argument. Like, did you not see how inconsistent that is? But do you not see how bizarre it is that you think, like, we as, as fully formed human beings, or even not us, because we're adults, like, even like a not even a one-year-old child, like a, a nine-month-old child or a ten-month-old child, that you don't see a difference between that and like literally a fetus, like just a, a collection of cells that is unable to sustain itself. Or a collection itself. of cells. Yeah, but a collection of cells that is unable to sustain itself outside I of I wasn't able to sustain myself also, for like 18 years, mate. <laughs> I was dependent on my family. 
Like you were, like we all were. Yeah, but why does that change that's... anything? No, but you were still able to feed yourself. Yeah. What, as if... a baby, as a one-year-old? No, it wasn't. But what about you were still like... able to eat and you were still able to breathe without. Like, I, 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 what you're I, saying is you're baby saying in the exactly womb still eats. The same thing it as, just does like, it differently. If your mom has to buy you food as like a one-year-old, like that's completely different from like you are literally physically attached. But to why your does mother. that bestow, bestow value? Why is that in any way in determining because who a person it, it is? It makes a very big difference because in the, in the case of being an actual human being I'm happy to give to aid and, and time own. and therapy and whatever is needed to help the mother perfectly happy to do that but imagine like you're a wait will you agree with me now you don't, you don't want your child to be born like you don't want to have that but right. like, at the end like you, you give birth yeah. and like what can be the like mental consequences that's like such a big like yeah but you see you, you understand at this point two people have already consented to have sex knowing full well that that leads to childbirth but the difference is consent to have a kid. But then you were just like, I don't want anymore. Consent to have a kid. A yeah, of course difference. it is. No, it is not. No. What happens Absolutely. when you have sex? Have what happens when you have sex? Listen, is there, you have an intimate experience is, with, yeah, yeah. Other people, there is with another person. There is real, most real chance of getting pregnant sex. through sex. You understand that? Yeah, but most right, people so do not you know only have sex to make kids. But my point is, is that every time you do, there is a chance, no matter how small, that you will have kids. That's my point. There is a chance. Right. So you understand the risks. You understand it. It's consensual. Both people are adults. They agree with it. But and yet, so there. If yeah. you don't want to have that risk, you're saying the only other option is to just never have sex, which people are not going to do. And people also shouldn't. No, have no, sex. you can have contraception. You can have contraception. For people to do what? You have contraception. Yeah, people do have contraception. Right, cool, there we go. We've got a solution then. We have a solution. Effective. If you want pleasure but you don't want to have kids, use contraception. There we go. Yeah, but contraception and you can, you can do, effective, but happens you can do, fails. You can do a ton of them. You can have uh, condoms, female condoms, the injection, you can get whatever you want. But, it's but you still want abortion. Effective. Nothing's 100% effective. Well, I suppose abortion and killing the child, yeah. Well, actually, even abortions aren't 100% effective. You know, there are people who mothers went to get them aborted, but they did, they, the abortion failed and they lived. There are okay. people today who talk about that. Okay, what about in instances of rape? I agree with you. Then abortion is fine. Yeah, yeah, no, it's So then yeah. you're not consistent with your beliefs. So you're saying right. it's okay because I started saying, with that. I started with that. In some, listen. in some instances, it's okay to murder no, a child. No, I'm saying abortion. Mind, wait, listen, listen to me. Abortion as contraception. I want to uh, overturn that, and I agree with overturning that. Abortion is not contraception. Nobody views abortion as contraception. No, many women do. Yes. No, they do not view Mate, no, I know no women, women who have told me that they, okay, they that's, thought that's that they could not provide... That is an anecdotal argument, though. I don't and you, know you literally just gave me an anecdotal argument. You just went, no women do. And I'm like, that's well, anecdotal. That's, You've never heard of one. I've heard of one. You've heard of I've one woman. You I, more than one. What I'm saying is that is an anecdotal argument. That Your is not argument a real is anecdotal. Argument. You literally gave you the same do, point. No, because women, this is not a thing that You started off making the anecdotal do. argument by saying that no making, women see it as can, contraception. Okay, fine. Go on the internet. Look I can find like many a women. About women like, uh, yes, yes. Do, there do are I many women. As my yes, yes. Like, Yes. No, women don't do that. Yes, women, they do, do. So what you're saying is women, they have sex, and then every time they have sex, they have an abortion, and that's their form of contraception. No, there are many women, there are many women who I know and who have talked to. Well, no, 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 it depends entirely at the level of development. But it's entirely a development. If you get an abortion early on, it's totally different in terms of trauma than if you do it later. It's not totally different in terms of trauma. It depends on the do you, woman. Do you know how abortion works? Have you ever had an abortion? No, but I've talked to people who have. Okay, and then you should know how much, like, some yes, women... Yes, and how different women, it is depending it, on the stage of life, yeah. Some women, like, they have a first trimester yes, abortion yes, and, and that that's, is, like, nothing to them. You know, sometimes, you know, chemical abortion is a thing. Like, you can have chemical it abortion. It be a really difficult uh, like, Yes, especially if it's later, them. yes. Sometimes yeah, it, it varies, is what I'm saying. This, and this is coming from women, their mouths, talking about their experience. Yeah. I know many, many women have had this who now oppose abortion, precisely because of things that they went through. Of course, but you can't have a law where like, the government can dictate what you can and cannot do with your own body. It's not your body, it's a child's body. It is your own body. It's a child's body. But they are inside a woman's body. And women right. should have body If I invite you to my house, do I get to kill you? Because I don't want you there anymore. That's a completely different Why? argument. That's, Why? That's murder. That's yeah, it is murder, exactly. It is murder. You're killing a child in the earliest stages but of development, scientifically. I am not a part of your right. body. Okay. Anyway, you want to show me out? All right, take care. Just gave a, a speech on abortion about Roe v. Wade, the 1973 Supreme Court decision to ban states having the ability to dictate exactly what abortions can be made and what can't be made. We're at a position now where America might actually overturn Roe v. Wade, and I pray that it does. Uh, I had a chat with a lot of people from lots of different backgrounds. Some people agree, some people don't. But I hope at least it had people thinking about it, and I hope that more people understand that abortion is an evil, and it needs to be, it needs to be legally banned.
because that way we save the lives of many, many children. Thousands of children who die every year by abortion. We shouldn't stand for it and we should do everything that we can. We should give support to different uh, activist groups that challenge abortion lobbyists, who challenge the state, both in this country and in other countries. And I think if we consist in that, we'll be successful. Have a good day. God bless.